right, we are out here. Another day, another unit here on Red Dirt Resale. We are in Doraville, Georgia. Got a pretty good deal on this unit. This unit here, um, especially for right now, a lot of stuff that this week that I've been trying to bid on keeps getting canceled. People keep paying up with all the tax money. And a few units have just been kind of insane prices. And this one here, I got surprisingly really, really cheap. 10 by 20 for $260, so not bad at all. No land today, so I was kind of driving down the road and I was like, let me see if I can pull over and find me some help. I'm gonna need help with this unit. And this is who I found, Leah. She was just on the side of the road, just looking for, looking for work. She was looking for construction work, but she said this would do. All right, so as you can see, like I said, 260 bucks. And you know, I saw the unit and I saw the clothes hung up nice and neat. And then you can kind of see right here. Now there's a lot of dirt and dust on some of this stuff, but I could see, you know, stuff that was stacked up. Not perfect and everything, but not just thrown in there. That's the problem. So many units, everything is just thrown in there. You don't even want to bid on this stuff. And then, you know, some of them that, some of the ones that everything is thrown in there, people are still, you know, over a thousand dollars for stuff just thrown in there. But this one here, some of this stuff looks older. A little bit dirty, but it is in there neat. It says funeral home. I'm that's Aaliyah just pointed out that does say funeral home. This is probably ashes. It's about that size of somebody's ashes. So, yeah, there's a little box in there for ashes. So that's going to be ashes there. So I don't know if it's this person's ashes or what. But as you see, um, nice looking vintage furniture there and there back in the back not really sure i see a mattress there i see a big box back there in the corner that um says that it's a door whether that's what's in it or something else or you know if it's damaged or anything who knows but potentially at least the picture on the side is a nice looking front door but lots of boxes and stuff to look at there's a tiffany style light right there there's a what is this old piece of um silver plated probably I can see, as it say, international, yeah, international silver down there on the vase. But definitely it's been in here a while, it looks like, because of the um, amount of dust and debris here on the front. Speakers, there's a Sony receiver. Then we got a Onkyo receiver, is that a receiver? Yeah, receiver, a TiVo. <laughs> there's a Sony box. Okay, Leah just found this picture. I don't know if this is this the picture of the guy. It's like a it's a, a portrait, but it's pretty realistic looking. Is this the guy that this is his unit? I don't know. Let me kind of crawl back in here a little bit. There's a professional paper shredder. Here's another paper shredder. Here's like um file boxes, but there's different stuff in there. And we got some old luggage. So I wonder what kind of clothes. Let's see. Let's look at the clothes and see if are they gonna be like name brand stuff. Let's see. Banana Republic Schmidt. I don't know what that is. Um there's a Carhartt Carhartt shirt. So looks like there are some name brands. Ikea table. IKEA table. I mean look at the <laughs> dust on this. Oh my god, that thing is so dirty. But yeah, the clothes, there are some name brands there that from what from what I can see, the couple things that I looked at. Lots of stuff that was dry clean. All right, so we are about to dig in and we'll see what we got and get all this stuff loaded up. All right, let's see. Oh, screwdrivers. Look at that one there. Lots of whole little bin of screwdrivers. Personal file. I wonder if he's gonna have a lot of paperwork. But oh, it's not even files in here. It's a from teapot a couple old pieces here let's see Rogers Brothers Rogers Brothers I don't think they're they're not silver they're not I don't see any markings to indicate that they're silver um, here's files this is a box for a Sony um, DVD VHS combo. Let's see if that's what's in there. 
there's some kind of electronic in here. So, maybe that's, let's see what it looks like. Library, but, oh, the Patsy, Patsy Klein, Klein collection. Is that in there? Mm -hmm. That's in there. Those usually do good in the auction, these the little, these little CDs. Huh? That's a cool one. Billy Holiday, the legacy CD collection. And Van Morrison, the Beatles. Bruce, Bruce Springsteen, Sting. Sting. All right, so some good CD. All right, look here. That behind the the Sony and the other pieces there, the TiVo. This is a what brand is that? Ultimate High Fidel Fidelity uh, Lux Luxuin Luxman. But not really sure on this. But it looks really nice the, on the vintage piece right here of um, stereo equipment. It's got that cool look everybody's looking for. Not sure. This is a um, Deluxe Corporation Japan. So some of this stuff can be big money on some of this vintage stereo equipment. A little side table. And it's like maybe a like a towel bar bath accessories yeah 24 inch towel bar and here's another one here towel bar okay all right i just looked this thing up and but there's one right here that sold on ebay see right there sorry i know my phone's cracked i cracked the screen the other day but right here this one sold auction style. They started out cheap and it's just listed as is. Sold for $710. Now a lot of the ones that are like reverb and different stuff that people are asking the like two grand and more for this thing. So, but this one right here just as is, you know, there's nothing here saying, you know, testing works, everything. $710 plus $129 shipping, which this thing's really heavy, so that's probably about what it takes. So right here, this that's a little jackpot item right there. That thing will pay for the whole unit and then some. And we've still got all this stuff to go. So already right here looks like it's going to be a good one. And what is Leah uncovering? It says speakers right here on the side. They're really old. We've got some more vintage stuff. Look at that. Huh. I wonder what kind they are. Mm. Miller and Chrysal, Chrysal Sound Corp. Some of these old speakers can be worth a lot of money too. They're, really they're old, but they look like they're in really good shape. I wonder if they have the covers for them. Mm. Oh. All right, and Leah's found some goodies down here. Any of this look like it's silver? It's a whole set. This says sterling reinforced with cement, so I don't know what that Sterling means. reinforced with what? Cement. I don't know what that means. Well, that, it might, it's probably weighted inside this little pedestal, so that is sterling. This is silver plate. Silver plate. Yeah. These little pieces here. I don't know. They, they match yeah. that. Yeah, oh, yeah, they got symbols on them. And so there's more of these. Sterling. Gorham Sterling. Yeah. All right, so that's Sterling. This is International Sterling. This is International, international Sterling. Sterling. Yep. If it says Sterling on it, I mean International that makes plate that. makes plated and Sterling. Right. 
another sterling piece of quite a few sterling pieces here. Sterling. This big um, ladle. The big ladle doesn't have any markings on it. It kind of looks similar to those pieces, but I don't see anything on that. Stainless. Sterling handle, so yeah, some sterling pieces scattered throughout. These people have the same wedding um, anniversary. Okay. It's like oh, we gotta save the date for our wedding, and they have the same anniversary as as me and Leah do. That picture, my gosh. Big old piano. I wonder if that thing's in here. I, <laughs> I hope I, not. I hope not, because my <laughs> gosh, we won't be able to get it if it's in here. I we'll have to leave it behind. Here's another picture of that thing. That's huge. Yeah, <laughs> that thing is massive. This box here is full of wires, surge protectors. Oh, we got a DeWalt drill. It's been been used a little bit. There's a foot massager, fans. This is like full of all kinds of electronic stuff. Tension cords. And we got this big, it says that it's ooh, spouse friendly, compact size, up to five decibels, um, true subwoofer. So is this supposed to be like one subwoofer? If that's even in there, I mean, who knows what we're about to find out here. Hmm, it may be a sub subwoofer in here. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. HSU. This is a massive subwoofer. Oh my gosh. It's, it's really heavy. I don't know if you can see that. There's the back of it. There's the front. Massive, massive subwoofer. All right. The only one on this subwoofer I see is this one right here. The person's asking $500 for it. Um, I see other models. From this brand stuff this hsu research different speakers and everything so it's a pretty it's a pricey little pricey speaker either way it's worth a few hundred dollars tons more cds mm -hmm. it's definitely into music grateful dead lou reed i'm reading everything upside down it's kind of hard to see blind fate cowboy junkies so he definitely looked like he was a music fan. He's got lots of equipment and lots of CDs. All right, this container says film. Oh, and it's old film, old reels of film. What does it say? What, I can't read mommy. what that says. It almost looks like mommy, yeah. Peggy. Buddy, May, Alice. This is probably just family stuff. That's from 1962, though. Probably just family rules because all the just the names Golden are just Hills. somebody's B Day 1962, and then we've got the cases here, which are probably gonna be more more film in these. Yeah, my goodness. 1959. Something Peg and something Snow family. Something party. 1959 on yeah, that one. Yeah, 1959. This is 1958. Babies, Halloween, something birthday. Something, something no barbe breaks. Barbe <laughs> barbecue family. Family barbecue, okay. 1960. So like 50s and 60s reels here. I wonder if there's a, a projector in here to play these on. 1958 Florence Park is kind of what it looks like. All right, DVDs. Box of DVDs here. Everything looks nice and clean. Even got the paperwork in there still. Let's see. 
no markings here. Let's see what this is. New tubes, match repair. Doesn't feel like there's anything in there. So like tubes for a radio, I'm thinking. There's nothing in there. COVID. There's a COVID at home test. Go back in there. What is this? HDMI video processor. Kind of just parts. There's a remote for one of the Sony glasses. There's mask, COVID mask. Well, that's pretty nice right there. Oh wow, look at these glasses. Denmark, handmade in Japan. That's pretty cool. What's that look it's, on? It's New York. New York then and, and, then now. and now. So it literally shows a picture of like back then. It shows you there's a newer. So there's <laughs> then. I don't know what year that is, but um, this. I didn't say what year exactly. Oh, 19th century, and then now. Riverside Drive, and then we've got. Looks like there. Oh, it looks like all kinds of cool books. A lot of older books, a lot of big coffee table books. There's art and treasures of the Peking, Peking Museum, a book of Chinese art, in Search of America, and there's more museum books. When you're entertaining, but you took some cool stuff. It's all the Washington Square. There you go, Washington <laughs> Square. I saw it when I was there. Oh, look, there's a Twin Tower. Oh, yep, the Twin Towers are right there behind Washington Square. This is, um, I didn't really say when exactly this is. Alright, the book actually says 2001, so they must have taken those pictures not that long before 9-11. There's another box. It's got all kinds of remotes. There's a Mitsubishi. It's got the big old dial on it. So lots of remotes. And there is like a DVD player. Here's the operating manual for a Dyson. Is that the Dyson fan? Kind of looks like the Dyson fan, you know, the bladeless fan. Aww. There's an empty box for something. There's another old picture of a kid, so I don't know if it's the same guy that was in the other picture as a kid or what. A remote for something. And then underneath this, look, we got some kind of speakers here. These are, um, they're powered speakers. There's the plug. Focal Professional. Right. There's two of them, and they have the stands here. Look, here's more stands. I don't know, was it some kind of a DJ or something? There's two more speaker stands. So I'm gonna look this thing up and see what this is worth. Focal Alpha 80 music monitor. All right, just pulled up the speakers here on eBay. There's uh, Focal Alpha 80. Looks pretty close to that for one of them. $319 right there is what it sold for. Um, here's another one. I don't know, because that's coming from the UK. So they only got $89 for it because they had to charge a lot for shipping. But it's somewhere between $100 and $300 each. That's a newer model there. But, so more. More goodies. Lots of good stuff so far. All right, Lee's ever finding more good books. All kinds of uh, America cinema. Look, here's the original Tiny Home book. The Dark History. Jackie Kennedy. She found some Princess Diana stuff, but not when Princess Diana died. This is actually when she was alive. Mm -hmm. Looks like a SpongeBob car, but it's not really. No, it does. And a whole book on the you know royal wedding. Her wedding. So, you get tons and tons of stuff about, you know, remembering her after she died, but very little of stuff from when she was alive like that. So, let's see. Ooh. 
basket. This is a photo album. Let's see. So we got a little bit of Christmas stuff. Not a whole lot going on in this box. A couple of dirty stuffed animals. Let's see if this is like an old. It's old. It's not black and white old, but look at the, you can just see the signage there. See that Fana sign and the Coke sign on that building? This is all like 70s kind of looking. So in case you're wondering, yeah, nor we normally do not show pictures and stuff if they're anything recent. But I mean, once you start getting like in the 50s and 60s and 70s or, you know, in the old black and whites that are way before that, two things. A lot of the people, if it's an older person, I mean, it's 2024 now. They're either not going to be alive at this point or people aren't going to look anything like those pictures at this point. So it's not like I'm showing someone currently or anything like that. I wouldn't want to do that. But when you start talking about a picture from the 60s, at this point, you know, that's like 60 years. just depends on when it was. 60 years ago. So if they were 60 at the time, they're not alive anymore. If they were 10 years old at the time, they're 70 years old now. They're not going to look, you know, be recognizable at all. This one says kitchen stuff storage. So these are just dishes. Well, I'm just gonna. Oop. It's a nice little dish. There's some Pyrex down there, but not not finished. There's actually it's actually a pretty nice set. This is all like um that, and that matches that. Then there's another piece down there that enameled cast iron now that's a low croissant we did really good we had a bunch of that stuff a couple weeks ago so actually a pretty good box here even though it's you know just kind of general kitchen stuff but some nice items all right a few records in this box but it's mood music for listening and re relaxation some of these readers digest these things really aren't worth much of anything so i'm hoping based off of the cds we found that maybe he has some good records in here got some kitchen stuff a nice little griddle pressure cooker these things are good look it's got the um the regulator on the top and everything these things are pretty expensive these usually do good in the auction close it back And then right here, let's see. It's in this box. Oh, what is this? We got some kind of dolls in here. I don't know. What are these? Oh my goodness. Um, what? Okay, let me cover. <laughs> these are like dolls, but they got parts. I don't know what these are. Look at all these clothes and stuff on them. So these are dolls. Indiana Jones. There's Indiana Jones pieces and parts. Ooh, that's like a okay, this is like <laughs> male body parts for the dolls. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that are they all like this with the parts and stuff? Um well no, this one's not. This is uh what is this? 97. I don't There's know what the, what that is. Right okay, we've got There's Tarzan. That's from the Disney animated. Tarzan. You see him? Okay, there is an Indiana Jones doll, but but all these dolls, I don't know what kind of doll they have parts. That's Indiana Jones. So some kind of that's Indiana Jones, that's Indiana Jones stuff, yeah. The snake and the mm -hmm. There's more parts. Oh my god. Um so weird. Hold on, let's see. This is that's Indiana Jones. Do these guys go with Indiana Jones here? Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, that's Indiana Jones, and then these are like um, soldiers and everything, probably Nazi soldiers. There's another Indiana Jones. This is Indiana Jones, and then that one doesn't really look like it. Maybe they just I put the jacket. the jacket. On it. But this right here, these look like him. And is that a thing? So I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the back of this and try to see because usually the markings on the butt on these things. So I don't know, it's 1996. I have to take the pants. 
it's got a belt on though and it's actually okay i'm trying not to show the show the front there but yeah it's got all the parts all the metal parts on these things it's got a butt here um i don't see a marking on the butt there is something on the clothes here it's just some weird stuff I'm trying to get this tag right here it says <laughs> what is this tag say oh my gosh oh um billy billy totem international all right i found these things on ebay the 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 name the brand name or line or whatever is billy by totem totem is the company i think but look at these they're selling for 200 100 100 115 look just a pair of boots here sold for 30 and then another pair sold for 50 dollars so these things are worth quite a bit of money on these billy dolls and then i'm not sure on the indiana jones for sure but so there's a little bit of money in the box here on the anatomically correct dolls and then some of them are not anatomically correct but never seen billy dolls before find anything in this box and oh what is that miss pansy west it's like an old part of the frame that's falling apart. It's 19, what, 47? Barber and hairdresser. Okay. Here's, I think it's one of these old, old scale things. Yeah, that's part of an old skull. Is it a, there's more to it or? There's more to it or what, but this is like the, it's like kind of broken. Some old kind of falling apart stuff in here. There's a brown box that's in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoe, shoe shoe cleaning stuff. Yeah. Okay. Postcard. All right, we moved the one clothing rack out, so now we got lots of room here. That's that nice paper shredder. Is there anything in the furniture here? Let's see. You no, know, some old. It's an old um, Marta token. Not really anything there. Just, just goes right there. Here's an old social security card. There's a key for a clock, so if we find a clock, some old matches. $23 a week. Show fashion frocks. pieces of hardware little, little fork so not in perfect shape but they're still good and sellable need a little little work and what's up here i think it's just I think it's a mirror it's an old mirror it's got damage right there mm -hmm. lamp Moving back, we're gonna have some more furniture, more clothes here to come out of the way, and lots more boxes. There's boxes stacked up back there, boxes all through here, and I'm sure some more surprises, maybe some more um, dolls with body parts. Who knows? All right, we just took a little lunch break. We're all done now. We're um, ready to get back into those boxes again and see what other goodies we find. So far, been a really good unit for only two hundred and sixty dollars. It was a still, is what it's looking like. Cause there's some been some nice vintage electronics, <clears throat> um, a lot of nice books, lots of nice clothes, a few nice pieces of furniture, and just household kitchen stuff like the cast iron and everything. But anyways, we're about to get back into it. 
see what else we can find and there's still quite a bit of stuff we've actually i mean we've really gone through hardly hardly anything i mean not hardly anything but a small percentage compared to the amount of boxes that's left here and there all right an empty pin box more cds mozart and then you got church mill and Tays. funky divas i said i was hoping we might find some records i saw those a couple old records but hoping to find some not oldies but classic rock or something like that Oh, wine bag. There's a little cobalt blue bowl there. It's more kind of decorative items. Up oh, here's another piece of sterling, I think. Yep. Weighted, weighted. So this looks just like the other one. Oh, this that's sterling. The salt and pepper shaker. I don't know if it's weighted or if it's just full. And then. More salt and pepper shakers down there. That is. I don't know what that says in another language. And I think that's. I don't think this is sterling. That's what it say. Made in. Oh, it's an Oneida. Oneida tray there. What does it say? Oh, ink cartridges. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so we got some ink. <laughs> paperwork, paperwork. It's all taped up. Get one more of these. Microfiber towels, it's like rags. Bulbs. This looks kind of maybe household stuff. Dry wax paper. There's some garbage bags down there. Light bulbs, all that kind of thing. Looks like it's gonna be pictures, box of pictures, I believe. All right, we got a tool bag here loaded down with tools. We had a DeWalt reciprocating saw. This was bits, nothing felt like there's anything in here. Oh, there's a couple bits. Some bits in here, black and, black and decker bits. Then we got a um, Ryobi inflator. Looks like we got all the Ryobi stuff here. Here's a charger, saw, another saw. Rigid job max. What is this the handle for? I'm not sure. Some straps. <clears throat> and another. This is a DeWalt corded drill here. I don't see a battery for the Ryobi on, on any of this. So no Ryobi battery right here. Let's keep a look out. Oh, that's cool sharpening stone there other than that like light bulbs garbage bags batteries there's a camera maybe it's an old capital mx2 so mostly light bulbs and bags it looks like some gloves Panama <clears throat> Cuisine Art Coca Cola Pop Up Hot Dog Toaster. So you can make a hot dog and drink a Coke with it. Light bulbs, more light bulbs, they like light bulbs. Here's 
a brand new skillet pan. Right, so is the luggage empty? Yes. Alright, so we got Royal Traveler luggage. Got a little coffee table here. It's all wood with the flip edges. Need some cosmetic help, but I said you can't hear where your glasses. You got to meet us halfway, LOL. Okay. Mm -hmm. A couple of um, green, kind of leather looking. I don't know if they are leather or not. I think they are. Brass button trim chairs. Looks like something that would be like in a, like in an office or a study. Well, it looks like we got some cast iron in here, and some old um, measuring cups. Well, that's a newer one. Here's the Pyrex. And then an old Tupperware. It looks like they it's a little bit melted on the bottom. Looks like they might have set it on the hot stove or something. Alright, let's see what kind of cast iron we've got. Um can't really make up the markings there. I think it just says like has a number eight inch or something. That says lodge. That's like an old lodge though. See that? Yeah, that's really old. It's kind of greasy there's a number eight no marking then this should be the lid for that one and here's this one don't touch that they got it greased up number eight ten and five eighths inch and then you got this little this one's cool this is a cracker barrel kind of like a cast iron like muffin pan there so no griswold this time but any cast iron sells and does pretty good. Here's another box. Looks like a lot of books. That's what it looks like from here. Oh, there's VHSs down there. Books, VHS. Got some um, DVDs. Love Sick. Never been opened. There's a little pin set, like a little gift set. All right, like I was saying, these chairs look like something from like an office or something. And um, a lot of paperwork and stuff in here that it's like from like attorney's paper case, you know, like from cases and stuff. So I don't know if he was a lawyer or worked at a lawyer's office. It's kind of what it's looking like, maybe. See, look, I bring Leah and this is what she does. Look what she did to this box. See this box? You wondering why it's why it's empty? Well, it's all right here. She picked it up and the whole bottom fell out. So she's gonna bag it all up now. And then we got a um, a Christmas toaster oven here. I don't know. It says Xmas on it. So let's, let's see what they have in there. I don't know if this is Xmas or not. There's a um, there's a griddle in there, and then some like sheets or something. So nothing in there looks Christmas. But that literally just looks like pretty much all paperwork that was in the one that legal papers. Everything fell legal out. Papers. More legal papers. So like I said, I think they either were a lawyer or worked for a lawyer. There's an iPad box right there, probably empty. But... And then what's that? This is Buffalo right here. Oh, this is it's a brand new wireless router, but it's. I don't know how old it is. Empty. Nice clothes here, but it's a nice rack also. Yeah. Nice clothing rack. 
the storage shelf. As you can see, all kinds of nice clothes. Lots of dry clean stuff. Alright, now that we've moved the rack, we uncovered a whole another made section in, here. Made in Japan. Well, made in Japan lamp there. There's two of them. chair got the hand carved wood on the chair the stitched um print here is coming off a little bit but still pretty cool is there anything in this whole set says silver plate right there Holmes and Edwards silver plate is that what's in here yeah Holmes and Edwards that's a nice set though you can see the detail there are these little ones even yeah it's the same same design it's a whole set on the Holmes and Edwards but we got this big trunk down here curious to see what's gonna be inside of there but some big glass vases there 